Hi, I'm Captain Beeler with CJTF HOA Behavioral Health. Um, I'm a behavioral health officer. Yeah, so what we've done today is basically for the last eight weeks, um, my team and myself have worked with the Armed Forces of Djibouti Rapid Intervention Battalion, also known as the BEER, on various training modules for insomnia and sleep. And today actually marks the testing portion where we're going to be testing the BEER medics on their competency and proficiency levels. So with the lines of effort, the collaboration between CJTF HOA and the Security Force Assistant Brigade is actually the first of its kind to enhance the SFAB mission with the beer at Camp Allium. Um, this was otherwise an unknown training opportunity for the medical team here. Um, the, since the beers, the, no. This was actually an otherwise unknown training opportunity for the medical team um, at the beer since the battalion's inception in 2018. As a result of this training, the behavioral health team advanced the capacity and capabilities of the beer medical section and actually addressed critical needs within the battalion. The team further provided capability enhancement with the beer through these training events we've been doing, covering critical necessary screening tools um, to help them be able to identify service members in need of higher levels of care that they had not previously been able to offer or proficient to offer. So the collaborative efforts and training provided really demonstrated a direct strengthening and partnership capabilities between the Armed Forces of Djibouti and Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa and ultimately the relations with the host nation of Djibouti. Hi, my name is Captain Sam Anderson and I work with the SFAB here on Camp Lemonade. What does SFAB stand for? So SFAB stands for Security Force Assistance Brigade. So there are five active duty brigades and we're actually from the 54th National Guard SVAP Brigade uh, out of Florida. Awesome. So this training is important for CJTF HOA's uh, mission and lines of effort because they actually run in parallel with the embassy and the chief of missions lines of effort as well. And what we found here in Djibouti is having those parallel lines of effort actually makes our job easier here in Djibouti and especially the case with the beer. So it's being that strategic partner in the region and actually being that preferred partner. So the behavioral health training, we've tried to target it for our, at least a bi-weekly basis, but now we've had so much training going on that we've been able to sustain that for a weekly presence. So the long-term goal of the behavioral health training with the beer especially is to take the beer medical section to the next level. So we're constantly looking at how we can move the football farther. Um, being that the beer's medical section is very advanced in their training, so we've been looking for ways to expand that and, and push them farther. And they certainly have asked for this training as well. Yeah. So my team came in uh, six months ago and we did an assessment on the beers medical section. What we found out um, when it comes to TCCC, they're very knowledgeable. Their expertise in this um, field has, has grown over the last couple rotations for the SBAP teams but also for their entire case. So now these beer medics are experienced, they've had experience in Somalia, and now they're bringing that back to the beer. So now we're looking at ways of how can we make them better. Tactical Combat Casualty Care. So beer actually stands for Rapid Intervention Battalion in French. Um, so in the English translation, it's um, Battalion Intervention Rapide. Um, just on the note with the You know, why is this training important for not only CJTFO but the embassy? So we actually align ourselves with the embassy's goals and being here on Camp Lemonnier with the support of CJTFO, it's only amplified our efforts and what we've been able to do in Djibouti. So as SFAB advisor teams, our rotations are six months long and really that first month we focus on building rapport. So it's not so much focusing on knocking out training tasks or training objectives we're looking at building those relationships to set us up for success when we actually execute training. And that's the reason why my team's been so successful here and we've been able to invite our partners like from Behavioral Health to help us out with the training because we've built that relationship and now it makes those training objectives that much easier to accomplish.